even if you've got a towel, you don't actually even need a mat. Okay, so we're going to go through some bridges, we'll go through Pilates postures, we'll go through some planking and proning, and then we're going to finish off with a little bit of high intensity to get your heart rate up as well. Okay, so just do the best that you can. If you need to come out of something, that's absolutely fine. Just come back in when you're ready. Okay, no pressure at all. All right, let's have a bit of fun. So the first thing we need to do is just lay on your back. This is called Savasana. Okay, so just relaxing. And what you want to do here is set your intention for class. So just think about what you want to get out of this class today. Just breathe deeply. So throughout the class, you breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Never hold on to your breath at all. Always breathing. Okay, first thing we do is find your neutral spine. So bring your feet to hip width apart, feet flat on the floor. So your palms can be up or down on your towel, your mat, the carpet, whatever. Just don't be gripping into your towel here. So you want relaxed, nice relaxed arms. Take a nice deep breath in through the nose. On the exhale, through the mouth, you push both hip bones into the floor, come into a slight pelvic tuck and tighten up through those glutes. Inhale, feel that chest rib cage expanding here. So that's a loosening. On the exhale, you push that belly button towards the floor, come into a slight pelvic tuck and tighten up through those glutes. Inhale, one more time. Feel that chest rib cage expand here. On the exhale, you've got to powerfully push your belly button towards the floor. Come into that slight pelvic tuck. That's the really important part and tighten up through those glutes. Okay, holding that neutral spine position now, nice and tight. We're going to peel your hips up for one, two, three, four. Just holding at the top. Get your knees in line with your shoulders. From this position, you want to drag your rib cage down. So you're taking some weight into your shoulders, squeezing into the glutes, and the pelvic tuck here is really important. So you don't want to be arching through that spine. So you need that pelvic tuck to stop that from happening. That's neutral spine position, and that's a position you will hold throughout this whole class. With everything you do in this class, you need to hold that position. Okay, now we've got big slow pulses here in the bridges. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Holding at the top now, we've got micro pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Just holding now, squeezing into those glutes. Make sure you've got that slight pelvic tuck, not arching through that spine. Holding here. Just keep that breath flowing. It's in through the nose and out through the mouth. Let's go big, slow pulses again. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hips all the way up, coming up on those toes, nice and high. We're just going to hold here again, squeeze those knees in together. So you're pushing those knees in together, zipping up through the thighs here. Deep breathing, so you're up on those toes, keeping those hips up, pushing that belly button down. So there's a lot going on here. Keep that breath flowing. So we're holding here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Heels up and down now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So bring those knees apart. So you're up on the toes. You got your left foot flat on the floor. We're just going to extend that right leg up here. We got big slow pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hips all the way up. We're just going to swipe for ten now. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's swap the legs over so you're on the toes of the right foot. Shoot that left leg up. We've got big slow pulses here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Hips all the way up. Let's swipe for ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Good job. Just relax it down. So bring those knees into your chest. Just want to imprint your spine here. So our bridges are done. You'll see a lot of people doing bridges before trainings, before games. They are really good, really good for your core as well. Okay, so now we come, if you want a sip of water, have a sip of water anytime as well. So we're coming into Pilates postures now. So we're going to start with, so listen carefully and I'll tell you exactly how to do them so you can execute them. Okay, you start with knees in line with your hips. So this is tabletop position, we call this. So we're coming into just regular crunches. So when you do a crunch, you don't bring your elbows in at all. So a Pilates crunch, you keep your elbows wide the whole time, pushing that belly button down to come up for two. Then back down for two. So it's not about speed on how many you can get out. Just execute correctly. Elbows wide. So actually leading through the shoulders. Okay. So we'll have 30 seconds there. Then we're going to come 30 seconds of ankle taps. So feet on the floor, hip width apart. And we're just tapping from side to side. So we're working into those external obliques. And then we finish with a Pilates bike. So Pilates bike, your knees stay stacked above your hips. So you're bringing the elbow up to the knee. You don't bring the knee in at all. Elbow up to the knee, and then we alternate from side to side. Okay, so we've got those three, and we're gonna do four sets here, four sets of 30 seconds. I will break it up with some mountain climbers as well, just to get the heart rate up. Okay, so we've got 30 seconds on the clock and we are going to start with those crunches. I'll talk you through as we go. So let's go. We've got 30 seconds here, elbows wide, legs in tabletop. Don't bring those elbows in here, really pushing that belly button down and using your core to get you up here. So just keep breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Good. Keep those elbows wide and keep breathing. We've got four more seconds here, then we're coming into ankle taps. Okay, let's get set for ankle taps. Feet hip width apart on the floor, and you're going from side to side, working into those obliques, pushing that belly button down. So if you ever need a break, that's okay, but come back in when you're ready. Keep that breath flowing. Push that belly button towards the floor. We've got five more seconds. Okay, let's go into Pilates bike. So bringing the elbow up to the knee. Don't bring that knee in at all. So you want to get some height, getting those shoulders off the floor. Really working into the obliques and working that core as well. Keep breathing, you got this. Three more seconds. 
Okay, we're going back into those crunches again. So legs in tabletop, knees stacked over the hips. Let's go. Most importantly, elbows wide. Keep breathing. We've got 10 more seconds here. Five, keep going. All right, coming into those ankle taps again, feet flat on the floor. And let's go from side to side. Now we're trying to touch those ankles. Remember, keep breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Never hold on to your breath here. It makes it 10 times harder. We've got this. Five more seconds. Okay, Pilates bike. So bringing the elbow up to the knee. Let's go. So don't bring that knee in, remember. Bring the elbow as high up. You may not touch the knee, but just get as close as you can. Five more seconds here, and then you're gonna roll it over and we're gonna do 30 seconds of mountain climbers. So rolling it up now, coming into that plank position, and we're gonna run it out here in mountain climbers. And just keep that breath flowing. We want to get a, maybe a bit of sweat flowing here. Get that heart rate up. So bring, trusting those knees forward. You're not kicking those heels up. We've got 10 more seconds. Let's speed it up. Keep going. You got this, everyone. Okay, let's roll it over. We're back into the Pilates crunches. Elbows wide. Don't bring those elbows in. So as you get more fatigued, you want to bring the elbows in to help. It's really important <laughs> to keep them wide. Really pushing that belly button down as you come up to get some real height here. <coughs> okay, feet onto the floor. We've got those ankle taps. Somebody still got there. Their sound on, which is coming right into my ears. So if you can make sure your sound is off, that would be great. You got this? So we're in the third set of four at the moment. Keep breathing. Okay, let's get ready for Pilates bike. Elbow up to the knee. Keep that breath flowing. You've got this, everyone. Stay nice and strong here. Hopefully you are feeling it in your abs now. If you are, you're doing this right. Three more seconds. Okay, we got those crunches. Final time through. Let's go. Really pushing that belly button down, keeping those elbows wide. Keep that breath flowing. Less than 10 seconds here. Okay, coming into ankle taps now. Feet flat on the floor. Let's go. We're getting those shoulders still off the floor here. So you're really working into those upper abs.
Deep breathing, less than 10 seconds. And let's finish with the Pilates spike, and that will be the end of the Pilates postures. Let's go. Bring the elbow up to the knee. Everybody stays in now. Keep going. You've got this. 10 more seconds. Good work, take a quick break. Have a sip of water if you need to. So really good job. So we've really worked into those abs now of that core strength. So we've got planking and proning coming up. So planking, another good way to strengthen up through the core and the proning part strength, strengthen, strengthen those back muscles. Because you need strong back spine muscles to hold that strong core when you have it. Okay, so we will start with a side plank here. Okay, so side plank. So we'll have left hand down to start with. You want your wrist stacked directly under your shoulder. And you're on your side. And just bring that right hand up. Okay, if you need to and you can't hold that, just bring the right leg forward. That will stabilize you a little bit. And we're going to hold that for 30 seconds and I'll just talk you through the rest of this. Okay, so let's get set. So left hand down, wrist under your shoulder, and we are on the clock here for 30. So just keep that breath flowing. If you need to bring that top leg forward to stabilize yourself, that's fine. So your belly button is in, your core is nice and tight here. Just keep breathing, so steadily in through the nose and out through the mouth. So we've got five more seconds, stay with it. And then we're coming into what we call swimmers. Okay, coming onto your bellies, legs out long, arms out long. And you're going to kick those legs and swim those arms. This is the back strengthening part. Keep breathing. You've already got less than 10 seconds to go here. Keep breathing. Okay, coming up into a low plank now. So this is the plank on the elbows. So your elbows should be stacked directly under your shoulders. Push your belly button towards your spine. Tighten up through the glutes and the thighs. So if you need to, and this is too hard, just bring your knees to the floor, okay? But if you can, just hold the plank. Okay, let's drop down now onto the floor again. More spine strengthening, hands under your shoulders. And we're just gonna lift that upper body up. So this is called a cobra. So your fingertips should be in line with the tops of your shoulders and the outside of your hands in line with your deltoids. Which are the muscles on the outside of your arm. So feet stay on the floor, toes and heels together. Tighten up the glutes and the thighs. Three more seconds. We're pushing up into a high plank now. So wrist under your shoulders and let's hold. Keep breathing, belly button in. Keep breathing, you've got this. Your thighs and your glutes should be nice and tight here. We've got five more seconds here. Okay, we're coming into a kneeling tabletop and we're coming into a bird dog now. So extend the left leg and the right arm here. Belly button in. Point the toes. 
So we're holding for 30 seconds here. So this is actually a lot harder than it looks. It looks quite simple. So you need a strong core to hold you in place. Three more seconds. Okay, let's swap it around. So we've got left arm extended, right leg extended. Keep that breath flowing, we got this. Belly button in, so never forget that core. You've got always, it's always working. Belly button in towards your spine. Coming into a low plank. And we're gonna roll those hips from side to side. So your bottom doesn't come up at all here. Just a roll from side to side. Get that belly button towards your spine. Four more seconds. And we'll come into a Superman. So dropping to the floor. So now we get the chest and the legs off the floor here. So clasp those hands behind your back. You can be resting on your bottom. So get those legs up. This works into your mid thoracic. Chest up, legs up. Five more seconds, then we're coming into the other side plank with the arm down. We didn't do to start with. Okay, so this time I've got my right arm down because I started with my left arm down. Bring that top leg forward if you need to. And this will finish our planking and pruning. Five more seconds. We get a break after this. Good work. Okay, so take that break quickly. Have a sip of water. Always hydrate well. So now we're coming into the high intensity. So it is high intensity, but it is low impact. Okay, so what we will start with is squats. I think my legs have recovered from my squat session the other day. Okay, so squatting is nice and low. So this is not a squat, okay? So we're squatting nice and low. Try and get those hips in line with the knees. Okay, so we'll have 30 seconds there. Then we're coming into a squat hold. So while we're holding, we're just gonna punch it out. Okay, punch it out. And then we're gonna finish with burpees. So if you wanna jump at the top, you can. We just stretch at the top. Then jump it back and jump it back in. Okay, so we've got those three. We're gonna do three sets here. Okay, so we start with those squats, sitting nice and low. Let's go. So you always have that core tight. So now we're strengthening up all the muscles in the legs, supporting that strong core as well. It's all connected. So let's speed it up a little now. We'll try and get that heart rate up a bit. Okay, coming into that squat hold. So you get a five second rest between everything. Squat hold, let's punch it out. Good. Okay, let's see those punches up now. Sitting low in that squat. Keep breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Okay, we've got burpees now. So just a stretch short. You can jump at the top if you want. Let's go. Oh, 
we? Burpees are really good for your core. Three more seconds. Okay, we've got squats. Second set of three. Let's go. Keep breathing, sitting low. Speed it up a little now. Okay, we're coming into that squat hold. And we're gonna punch it again. Let's go. Hopefully your heart rate is rising a little bit now. So sometimes in our classes we use weights. We might use Pilates rings and blocks as well, just to vary it up, bands as well. Keep breathing. Okay, we've got burpees. Get set and we're off. That breath flowing. Speed that is just outside your comfort zone. Okay, We're coming into the final set now. Let's squat. Keep breathing. We've got less than 10 seconds here. Squat hold, we're gonna punch it out. All right, we got this everyone, let's go. Punch it out. Speed those arms up a bit. Sitting low in that squat. No cheating now. Five more seconds. Okay, we've got a burpee. Finish this nice and strong. Going, everybody. You got this. Good work. Take a quick break. So, first set done. All right. So, the second set. We will start with the forward lunge. So, right leg forward. We're going to sit in that lunge, stay in that lunge, and we're just going to do runner's arms in that lunge. Okay, so we'll do that right. We'll do the same thing left, and then we're coming into push-ups. Can be done on your knees or on your toes. So on your knees, just cross those feet. Okay, it is 30 seconds worth with three sets. So if you want to do it on your knees, that's absolutely fine. Okay, we've got two seconds to go. We've got that right leg forward into runner's lunge. Pulse those arms. Sitting low in that lunge. Core tight. Keep breathing. All 
cry. Let's speed those arms up a little now. All right, swap the legs over. Same deal on the opposite side. Okay, let's pulse those arms. Keep breathing, you got this. Stay low in that lunge as you do this. Less than 10. Five seconds to go. Then we're coming into push-ups. Okay, let's push it up. Knees or toes, I don't mind. Let's go, 30 seconds low here. So try and get at least 12 of these out. Aim for 20 in 30 seconds. There. Okay, coming back into that runner's lunge. All right, let's go. Pulse those arms. Keep breathing. You got this. Staying low there and really pulsing those arms. So hopefully your heart rate is up. That is the aim. Pulse those arms even quicker now. Get them going, five seconds to go. Swap it over. Let's go. Keep breathing. So we're in the second set of three already. Less than 10 to go. Then we're coming into those push ups. Three seconds. Okay, let's get set into push ups. We're off. Getting that nose and belly button to the floor. Not a half push up, it is a full push up. Keep breathing. You've got this, everyone. Three more seconds. Okay, final time through. Right leg forward. Let's pulse those arms. Really pumping those runners' arms here. Keep going, everyone. You've got this. Breathe. Drop it over. Sit legs forward. And we're off. Let's go. Last one of these. Keep breathing. Everyone stays in now. We've got 12 seconds to go. Pulse those arms, let's go. Five more seconds. All right, we're into push-ups. Get down. And we're off. Pump it out, everyone. You've got it, guys. Okay, take a quick break. So we've done two sets. We've got one more, which is a little more cardio. So take a sip of water. 
So we start with, okay, we got jumping jacks to start with, okay? So try and do them fast, outside your comfort zone always. Okay, then we're coming into squat taps. And then we finish with mountain climbers. Okay, 30 seconds each, three sets. All right, so we've got those jumping jacks. I'll talk you through anyway. All right, stay with me, everybody. Let's go. So your core is still tight here. Belly button in. Squeezing through those glutes. Less than 10. Okay, we've got squat taps now. All right, let's get set. And we're off. So sitting in that squat so you can touch the floor. Belly button in, core tight. Lesson 10. Okay, let's get into mountain climbers. And we're off. Let's go. Keep breathing. And stay positive. Positive mindset here is everything. Three more seconds. Okay, we've got those jumping jacks. Second set. Let's go. I'm doing this in my job every day. I honestly have the best job in the world. Keep going. Okay, we've got those squat taps now. Okay, you got this everyone? All right, let's go. Belly button in, core tight. Okay, you got this. All right, mountain climb it. Let's go. Keep breathing, everyone. You got this. Let's speed it up now, last 10. All right, final time through. We got this everyone, let's go. This will finish off the hip component and then we'll finish with some dental stretching. Keep going. Some five. Okay, we got those squat taps. So stay with it. Hopefully you got a bit of a sweat up now. And the heart rate up. Less than 10. Yeah, 
Hey, let's mountain climb at home. So we want to go hard here. This is what you remember now. Let's go. So instead of getting slower here, let's get faster. Let's go. Halfway there. All right, let's bring it home. Five seconds. Good work. Okay, the hard part's over. Great job. So have a quick sip of water and then we'll come into some gentle stretching. Okay, I know you did really well. So let's finish off. We'll come into a child's pose. So your toes together and your knees are apart in a child's pose. So from this position, you're just gonna stretch it out. Forehead on the floor. So now you're getting fresh oxygenated blood rushing to your brain. Just breathe. A few really deep breaths here. Head below your heart. Okay, good. We're just kind of going to come into some cat and cows. So in tabletop here, knees on the floor, hands on the floor. So if you're ever curling in, compressing, you need to exhale the air. Okay, so we're coming in to a cat. So you're arching that spine up. You are compressing the front. So it's on an exhale. Then on the inhale, looking up towards the ceiling. We've got that cow. A big arch in your back here. Now let's compress again. We've got an exhale. Inhale, looking up towards the ceiling, pushing that belly button towards the floor. Your core is still tight though. Exhale. Inhale, looking up towards the ceiling in that cat. Exhale. One more. Looking up towards the ceiling in your cow. Exhale for your cat. Okay, good. Now come into laying on your back. Okay, so left foot flat on the floor, cross the right leg over the left knee and just grab in behind that left leg. So you're getting a nice glute stretch here. You just keep breathing deeply. All right, let's swap those legs over. So cross the left leg over, grab in behind the right. Okay, good. All right, so legs in tabletop, cactus those arms, which means you're bringing them out to the side with bent elbows. And we're just gonna rock those knees from side to side. So as I've said all class, your core is still tight. So you've still got that belly button pressed in towards the floor. Okay, good. So coming back to center. Now we'll come into a happy baby. So just grabbing those feet and you can have a bit of a rock from side to side. You can gently pull down on those feet as well. So your knees can be bent a bit here. Okay, and then when you're ready, we just come into a final savasana. Legs out long, arms out long, and just breathe and let go. And just know you've done a really good job today. Worked really hard and just let go. Have your eyes closed if you wish. And you are now ready to start your day. 
So great work, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. So it's an introduction to Matt Pilates for you. It's, it's a whole body workout. So yeah, you will find my studio is nowhere near Frankston. I'm in Eltham. So yeah, so, so if you enjoyed it, maybe find when we open up again, find a studio near you that you can actually get a workout like this. So great job, everyone. It was my absolute pleasure to join you today. And I hope you have a great rest of the day. Make sure you hydrate well. Thank, thank you. you, Michelle. Thanks heaps, Michelle. Guys, on behalf of Frankston, thank you for joining in today. And that was fantastic. I didn't want to uh, walk for the rest of the weekend anyway. So thanks for that. <laughs> I'm going to be keeled over with my, uh, my abs are going to be absolutely uh, killing me. But thank you. Kids, well done. Thanks, Excellent exactly. job. Um, thank you, Michelle. We'll, we'll catch up soon. Thanks, Teeps, for that. We really Sounds appreciate great. it. great. Thank you. Great job, guys. Okay. See you, guys. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> See ya. See ya. Thanks, Michelle. Bye. Good on you guys. See you later.